All right, let me show you how I rig the Christy Craw when I'm punching grass. First thing I do is I take a rattle, I turn the bait upside down and I go to the second segment and I insert the rattle straight up the center of the bait. It's important and I'll explain that in a minute. Straight up the center of the bait. I make sure that when it is rigged, the bait is straight, it's not kinked, it's not humped, it's nice and straight. Now, I'll take my hook and again, you don't have to get crazy with the hook. You just need a hook that has a gap that's twice the size of the plastic. I'll put it right in the center. I'll rig it. I'll text pose it. And then here's what you want. I'll text pose it right down the center so it's nice and straight. So the whole bait is nice and straight right down the center of the hook. Okay, now. Here's the, where the rattle is. The rattle is directly in the center of the bait, away from the hook point, so when the fish bites down, it doesn't stop the hook from coming through. And it's not in the way, it doesn't hamper your hook setting abilities. Then the last thing I'll do is I like to take my dye pen and I just take the tips of the craw and I just do a little bit of chartreuse, just a little bit on the tips. And really, that's it. It's pretty simple. And then just go have at it. There he is. That's a good one. Oh, no. Oh, I think I lost him. No, I didn't. I got him. All right, did you see that? Here's the scenario. This is the this is the Christie Craw that I'm flipping, and um, here's the deal with this thing. These these legs they move crazy, crazy, and so they're calling these bass from these grass clumps to come out and get it. When the grass is real thick, like what I've been fishing, I like to throw the Christie Craw because the vibration when it goes down displaces a ton of water and these fish could hone in on the bait really well with all the grass and cover around them they can get it that's why I like throwing this thing I'm throwing it in Bama magic it's pretty sweet color really because what it does is it mimics a crawdad but it can also mimic a bluegill which is why I put a little bit of chartreuse on the pinchers because then it could be either or. It could be like the tips of the crayfish pinchers, how they change color, just like the tail of a bluegill changes color. I'm gonna get this guy back so I don't hurt him, but that's a beautiful, that's a nice fish right there.